These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Learner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your top stories right now from ABC 15 Arizona. Dozens of structures are threatened right now as the Boulder View fire grows in the North Scottsdale area. It has burned 2,500 acres. The State Department of Forestry and Fire Management says hand crews have been working along the southeast side near the Vista Verde community, trying to stop the fire spread in that direction. It was important to give doctors assurances that they don't have to do that. There is nothing in the 15-week abortion ban that says that doctors have to allow women to get close to death's door. Abortion rights are top of mind in Arizona right now as Attorney General Chris Mays issues her opinion and clarification on our state's 15-week abortion ban as it relates to a medical emergency. Some doctors say defining an emergency led to confusion and they feared prosecution. AG, May AG Mays says that should be based on a doctor's best clinical judgment if they are acting in good faith. Abortion rights could still end up on the ballot. Next week, the group Arizona for Abortion Access plans to deliver 800,000 signatures to the Secretary of State. That's happening Wednesday, and ABC 15 will have full coverage on this issue as it develops. Well, the 4th of July holiday is less than a week away, but people are packing up and heading out on vacation early. And if you're going to be going to Sky Harbor Airport today, you may be one of the millions of people that could break a record. TSA predicts today will be the busiest travel day ever, with more than 3 million people expected to be screened. The agency says it's prepared and staffed to meet wait times of 10 minutes with pre-check or under 30 minutes with standard screening lines. When it's this hot this weekend, you want to remember a time when it was a little bit cooler. So why don't we get a little nostalgic with the Mesa Toy Convention? And that's just one of the things happening this weekend. Ooh, Ghostbusters. Some of the rarest, oldest, and most valuable toys in Arizona will be pulled from their glass case and up for sale on Saturday. Every superhero, Star Wars character, and Pokemon will descend into one space for one of the Valley's biggest toy shows. Check it out from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Saturday at the Mesa Convention Center. All vintage Dungeons and Dragons stuff. David Crow of Collectors Marketplace expects 200 vendors and private collectors for the $10 event. Kids under 10 are free. There, everyone is family, united in their geekery and their nostalgia. And while you're in Mesa, somewhere downtown, there are more than 30 hidden plush ice cream cones. They're part of the cool, cool summer ice cream cone scavenger hunt inside various businesses. The more you find, the better your chances of winning prizes like a ukulele from Milano Music Center and gift cards to your favorite Mesa spots. <laughs> The Oasis pool party continues to roll out with Ludacris on Saturday. Doors at Gila River's Wild Horse Pass will open for the Southern Rap King at 6 p.m. General admission tickets start at $79. And over at Chase Field, kids are free this weekend at the D-backs game as they take on the Oakland A's. With the purchase of one adult ticket, up to two kid tickets are free for those under 15 years old. And in Chandler... Meet Bob. You're very fearless with it. I That's like scary. it. He's a Sonoran gopher snake inside the Chandler Nature Center. You can meet him, his buddy Chip the tortoise, and learn all about all kinds of desert wildlife all summer long from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. on weekdays and 8 to 2 on weekends. And get this, it is completely free. Uh, that's what we're all about here at the Nature Center. We're all about conservation and uh, creating stewards and advocates for our surrounding environment. For more things to do, you can visit abc15.com slash things to do. I'm Jordan Bonke for ABC 15 Arizona. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Sermosio on this Friday. Temperatures hitting 110 plus again in the valley and in parts of western Arizona with highs in the 80s to 90s across that northern half of our state. Look for more sunshine today. Now more air quality alerts for ozone pollution. Today we are back under a high pollution advisory across the Phoenix metro area. A reminder that that ozone pollution could certainly have some health impacts, especially if you have any respiratory conditions. You could experience throat irritation, difficulty breathing as well. Things like chest pain, a possibility. Too. It's possible we see air quality alerts through the weekend. For now, we've got high pollution watches through the weekend with temperatures topping 110 every single afternoon going into next week, too. The hottest day looks to be Sunday with a high of 114, which will put us one degree shy of that record high temperature for Sunday's date. Overnight lows could continue to challenge those records, too, only cooling into the low 90s. Storm chances ramp back up Sunday across the state, and they'll continue into next week. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to abc15.com or download the free ABC 15 mobile app.
These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.